In this video, I'm going to show you the exact step-by-step -step process that you need to take if you want to make six figures doing remote training. So by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to get people interested in your program, get into your program, and so you can start actually coaching people over the internet, doing what you love, getting paid what you're worth, and doing it from anywhere in the world. So just so I'm not wasting anybody's time. This is only for the coach who wants to start or scale a remote training business and is serious about it, okay? If you don't have a work ethic or you're not willing to take a risk or take a bet on yourself and put yourself out there, if you're just looking to make a little bit of side hustle money, then this video isn't for you, right? But if you are that guy, if you are trying to start and scale a remote training business, then you're probably one of two people right now. You're probably the guy who has a little bit of a follower base, you know, 5, 10, 20, 50K, 100K followers on Instagram, um, but you just haven't figured out a way to monetize it yet. You've been trying to monetize your audience, but you just don't even know where to start. Or your guy number two, who has some coaching experience, you get good results from your athletes, you haven't really dabbled in the remote training game yet, but you're hungry to grow an audience and actually make a real impact in the game and do it on the internet. So if you're one of those two guys, then this video is for you. I'm gonna show you exactly the blueprint to make six figures doing remote training. So if you're looking to start or scale a remote training business, you wanna scale it to six figures a year, then you're gonna to wanna to stick around and watch this video because I'm gonna show you the exact step-by-step -step process. So let's get into the video. All right, y'all, so this is the blueprint to make six figures doing remote training. Let's jump right into it. Just so you know that I'm not some random dude on the internet making all these claims like you should listen to me, right? I actually run a consulting company that teaches sports coaches how to monetize on the internet. So you can see right here, here are some messages that I got from my clients over here, you know, another one, 150 weekly. Fam, I just got my first sign up from a rando and three other kids that follow me within the hour. Paid in full, that's one of the big things that we say in our community, right? Piff, that's what we love to hear. Look at this over here, two paid in fulls in the same message chain. I think that was like before 11 a.m. too, right? Just had breakfast, boom, made a thousand bucks. Over here, got a new, <laughs> he got his first client. I think that was like two weeks after he started working with me, right? Over here, homie said he closed six clients in the last week. Let's get some more. And some more wins, right? <laughs> this is in our community right here we're, that we're building out right now. We got 17 sale in this program launched last month, LFG. And you can see 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. These were all <laughs> within the span of three days, okay? Over here, Homie posted on his story, responses within eight minutes of posting a story, just a flood, right? So if you're the guy that has a lot of followers, this is somebody that you can model yourself after, right? 24 appointments booked, 24 appointments booked, another one, PIF, $500, another one, PIF, sale number 36 since launch, September 4th, right? So in a month and a half or like two months, I think, in two months, he made 36 sales at 500 bucks. You can do the math right there. I'm not going to you know, do that for you. I think I got more wins on the next slide. Oh, even more wins, right? But these, these two are the ones that I think I like the most. Homie said two for two close on $500 offers made on Zoom sales calls. Third prospect supposed to let me know tonight. This dude right here was only charging 250. I was like, bro, you need to double your price right now. Nobody's saying no. And he didn't want to. And guess what? Boom, made a thousand bucks first day that he did. Um, okay, here's one of my guys right here. He says, I appreciate you. Literally was almost a registration call. Kid was like, bro, I've seen all the progress videos. I'm ready to sign up, right? So he's done such a good job in his marketing that by the time people get on the phone with him, it's pretty much an enrollment call, right? Okay, homie here. Booked so many appointments, I told my setter to stop. Last week before I joined the community, he, he just launched his remote training offer. And in like the first week, he has an appointment set are working for him now and he had so many appointments set that <laughs> he had to stop booking appointments, right? So I actually know what I'm doing, right? I actually know what I'm doing. I get results from clients across a multitude of industries, but just so you can get to know me a little bit, right? My name is Nick. 
Um, my story is that I was a baseball player. I went to four schools in college. I was kind of a nomad. Um, and I finished at Southern Illinois University right there. There's me hitting a tank. Uh, ended up setting a school home run record there for single season home runs. Got broken the next year, right? But that's my claim to fame for baseball. Here's me. I signed an independent baseball contract, right? This obviously you can tell it's indie ball because uh, the jersey, right? That doesn't happen in affiliate ball. Are you serious? But uh, I played uh, I played indie ball for 10 days and I was like, dude, what am I doing? There was a guy my age who had just gotten released by an affiliate team and he was better than me. And I was like, what am I doing playing baseball, right? So I quit. I walked away from the game and I was like, I think there's more to life than just, you know, trying to hit homers. And um, what did I do? <laughs> I got a job right here. This is a real Snapchat I took on my first day in corporate America, right? I was working in a mortgage bank and um, I absolutely hated my life. You can see here, I don't look very happy, right? <laughs> I don't look very happy. Um, and I absolutely hated my life. I was, you know, slinging mortgages, making a hundred outbounds a day, sometimes outbound phone calls, right? For any guys that don't know what that is. Um, and uh, I started really, really getting into like fitness. I started getting really into fitness. Here's me pulling five plates. Uh, it's, it's a sumo deadlift. So those of you guys who know anything about deadlifting, it's, I mean, it's kind of cheating, but um, I started getting really into fitness, right? And um, I, uh, I couldn't stand my job and I thought, well, there's gotta be something else out there, right? I, I can't just, you know, work a corporate job forever. Like this is not why I quit baseball. I thought there was more to life. And so I started looking on the internet and um, I started reading books, right? I started studying and studying and studying. And I came across this book called Dotcom Secrets. And um, I absolutely recommend that you check it out because it's one of the best books in terms of, you know, internet business, right? And my plan was to, you know, start an online fitness business because, you know, I was in pretty good shape. I like to train. Um, and uh, I was learning about, you know, online marketing, right? Online sales, doing online business. And um, just out of happenstance, I ended up meeting up with an old teammate and um, we partnered together because he said he didn't know how to make money off of his following. And I said, hey, I think I can help you. Like, I think I really, you know, have a good understanding of like how to start something. I didn't really know if it was gonna work. And, um, you know, within the first 10 months, here it is. We did 32K in the month of May, right? You can see right here, we had 148 active subscribers in our um, remote program, about 50 of those we're on a free plan, right? So we had about 100 people paying us every month. Um, and yeah, made 32K in the month of May doing online baseball training with a partner, right? And we started in October and ended, and we didn't end in May, but this was in May, right? This is our best month that I have recorded. And uh, what's that, seven months? So zero to 32K in seven months. Um, pretty good, right? And I was like, oh geez, like I'm, I might really have something here. And, um, you know, unfortunately the partner and I split, but, uh, while I was still doing that old business, I had friends hit me up all the time asking me, dude, how are you doing what you're doing? Right? Like I have followers or how, you know, I want to do this. What am I supposed to do? Right. And I didn't have time to dedicate to actually help people out. Cause I was so focused on my own business. Right. I had a hundred active athletes at one point all over the internet. Right. And, um, you know, I, I had to really, really stay focused, but when my partner and I split, I thought, dude, there are so many people out there that need my help. Right. So I started helping other people and I kind of realized that, you know, there's, there's a definitive path that you need to take. Um, because I'm, you know, I pretty much just teach guys to do the exact same thing that, that we were doing. Right. And so, um, here's kind of the path that, you know, you really need to take, right? Number one, you need to get your mind right. You know, most people, the reason why they can't make money doing online training is because their mind isn't in the right place. They can't even take the first step, right? And then number two, maybe you have a good mindset, but you don't know how to get attention, right? You don't, you don't know how to put yourself on a megaphone 
and stand up and say, hey, everyone, look at me. I can help you, right? Or maybe you're afraid to, which is a mindset thing. Number three, once you get that attention, you have to nurture the attention, right? You have to, you know, take care of the people who are showing you interest. You have to continue to provide them value. Number four, you have to convert that attention from just being nurtured into a paying customer, right? This is the biggest issue that I see with a lot of people with a big follower base is they're good at getting attention. They don't really nurture their audience and so they can't convert, right? And then number five, you gotta have some sort of structure. You gotta have some sort of systems. You gotta actually have a good program. You gotta actually have something for your you know, marketing and your sales to stand on. So um, let's jump right into it. Number one, like I said, you gotta have the right mindset. And you know, the, the first thing that you really need to understand is it doesn't really take that many people training with you to make 100 grand, right? Let's say you're an in-person trainer right now. You probably have like 40 people, you know, coming through your facility every single week that pay you money, right? And think about it like this. Let's say you have 40 clients paying 49 bucks a week. You'll make 100 grand. Get your calculator out and check me right now, right? You will make a hundred grand by only having 49 or 40 clients paying you 49 bucks a week. And this is on the low end of what you should be charging, right? You should be charging at least $250 for your services, right? And the reason why most people can't even do this, because when I break it down for people like this, it's easy, right? They're like, oh my goodness, only 40 people, right? All, all you need is 40 people to get to pay you a Chipotle burrito per day, right? Not even, right? <laughs> so... The reason why people can't do that is because they're afraid of failure, right? They can't get over the fear of failure. They don't know how to get started, so they don't do anything, right? And I'm here to tell you that your fear of failure is crippling you because if you were just willing to put yourself out there and say, hey, I know something, I have something to offer, then a lot would change for you, right? Your whole life would change. And so number three, charge what you're worth, right? I see a lot of people doing online training or trying to sell programs for like 20 bucks or like 50 bucks a month. It's like, dude, to make 5K, you gotta have 100 guys training with you. And 100 guys is a lot of work, right? So if you're only charging 50 bucks a month for 100 guys to make 5K, like you're gonna be working all hours of the day and like not even really getting paid that much, right? You might as well go work at a facility at that point. It's not even worth it, right? The reason why you wanna do your own thing is because you can make your own income and you can do what you love from anywhere in the world, right? So you have to charge what you're worth. If you're actually a good coach, you have to charge like you're a good coach or else people won't take you seriously. So once you got your mindset dialed in, right? We gotta know how to get attention. We gotta know how to get attention. And most people don't know how to get attention because of their fear of failure, right? They they don't know even where to start. But at the end of the day, there are two ways that you can do this, right? Let's say you got your mindset dialed in. What do you do next? You need to get attention. There are two ways you can do this. Number one, you can post organic content, right? And that's just like Instagram reels. You know, you can post on X, you know, you can post on TikTok, you can post on YouTube, like where this video is gonna be hosted, right? You can post organic content. Um, that's the slow method, right? So if you don't already have a follower base and you're not super, super patient, I recommend option two, paid ads. And most people are afraid of running paid ads because they don't know what they're doing, right? They don't know what they're doing. They just watch a couple of YouTube videos on how to set up an ad campaign. But there's a way to turn $1 into paid ads to three or five or 10, right? I run ads to get people interested and aware of what I have to offer and I turn a dollar into 10, right? But it's because I know how to do it. And this is what you need to do. You need to post organic content and you need to run paid ads because this is going to generate an audience for you, right? And the organic content is gonna hit the algorithm if you're good at content, right? So if you're starting off brand new, my recommendation, run paid ads, right? Get people interested in your stuff. If you're not brand new, you have like five, 10K followers, stick with your organic content, obviously you're hitting the algorithm, right? 
But once we know how to get attention, then we got to know how to nurture them. Okay. And what I mean by nurture is we need to continue to develop the relationship with the people who follow us, right? We need to continue to develop the relationship with the people who follow us. And most people aren't, you know, posting content properly, right? You should be using your content to shift the beliefs of your audience to align with what you need them to think in order to train with you, right? Because people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. So we can get attention so that people know us and then we can show our personality so that people like us. But if we don't show credibility and show them something that they've never heard before, they're not going to trust you, right? You're not going to stick out from the crowd. So you have to find your own angle of how to shift the beliefs of the people that follow you to believe that you have what it is that they need. Okay. Number two, you need to create a library of sales assets. Okay. And what I mean by that are videos that do most of the selling for you. And if anybody's asking for free tips, you send them the sales assets, you send them the long form videos. So you don't have to coach in the DMS, right? Because anybody hitting you up for free advice is not serious, right? They're not going to take the free advice for real. Most people aren't going to do it, right? When people pay, they pay attention. And when you get free advice, you're probably not going to take it as seriously as if you paid a million dollars for it, right? And that's just the reality. And it's the exact same way with your coaching program. Okay. Number three, we need to have real conversations with our audience, right? Most people, what they're doing is they're putting a link in their bio and hoping that people pay, but they're not developing real relationships with those people that are engaged, right? We need to engage with those who are engaged, right? If somebody's liking or commenting or DMing you, we need to engage with those people and have real conversations and continue to build that relationship because over time, eventually you're going to have helped them so much that they're going to want to train with you. Right. But if we're not doing these three things, if we're not showing them something they've never seen before, if we're not giving them a ton of value and where they can spend a ton of time with us in long form videos, and if we're not having conversations with them, they're never going to get to the conversion part. Right. So you have to dial in your nurture process. The attention part honestly is the easy part, right? Cause all you got to do is run ads. If you're not good at making content, you can get attention, but it's nurturing that attention. That's really where you're going to make all the money. Okay. That's where you're going to develop those relationships. Number four conversion, right? Most people that I see that have a big follower base, this is where they really, really struggle, right? They think that, Oh, I have a ton of followers. I can just put a link in my bio and people are going to buy my stuff, right? It's not the reality. Ask anybody who's tried it. Ask anybody who's tried it. They'll tell you that's not how it works, right? And so what I know works is that you book appointments with people and you get them on the phone, right? And when you get them on the phone, you ask them where they are right now and where they want to get to. And you frame your program as the solution, right? As the gap, as the bridge over this, you know, valley of despair that they don't want to cross that they can't cross on their own. You need to help them. Right. And it's not so much about trying to convince people to train with you. It's about showing them how you can help them. Right. It's about having something to, for your program to stand on so that they can actually see your program as the bridge that helps them get from where they are right now to where they want to be. Right. And then number three, the fortune is in the follow up. I heard this when I was working my mortgage job where I learned how to sell, where I learned how to market, where I learned about business and it's absolutely true. The fortune is in the follow up, right? Most people, they have DMS from, you know, guys asking for advice and they never hit them back. Why? Because they don't know that this person is actually a potential customer. So what do they do? They're just like, Oh, another guy asking for free advice. But what if you had a library of sales assets where you sent people these videos after they asked for free advice and then they book a call and then you get on the phone with them and then you follow up with them two weeks later and boom, now they're training with you, right? That's the process. That's how this works. 
Okay. And if you can understand that, then you're going to make money doing online training, right? And so after you convert people into your program, what do you do next? You need actual structure. Okay. You need actual structure. And this is the best way that I know how to do it. Okay. You need an actual program, right? Because at the end of the day, results are the most important thing. And you can do it pretty easily by setting up through a software or a tool. I used to use Trainerize. I know people that use Onform. I know people that use the Futures app. I mean, you can even use Google Sheets. It really doesn't matter what software or tool you use as long as people are getting value from it, right? But from there, you need to develop a community, right? Where you have everyone in the community working toward one goal right? And that way guys can help each other out and communicate and see that other people are making process or progress. Maybe when they're feeling a little bit discouraged, right? Because in training, when you're trying to get better at something, sometimes you go through ups and downs. And when you develop a community and you see that other people are getting better, you stop feeling sorry for yourself and you try and figure out how can I get like that guy? And you're going to get way better results when you have a community and you have an actual structured program that is designed to get people results as quickly as possible, right? And then number three, once you have all this down, then you can start working on getting your time back, right? This is very, very important. If you're already running and, you know, shooting off a remote training business and you're getting guys in the door, you need to figure out how to eliminate all the things that don't matter. You need to automate all the things that are repetitive and can be automated. And then you need to delegate all the tasks that aren't needed for you, right? So in my remote training business, I got rid of all the things that I didn't think were gonna help people, right? I collected feedback from my community and I got rid of everything that didn't matter. And then what did I do? I built out automations where I was automating 5,000 tasks a month, right? which if each task is worth one minute, that's 83 hours of work, which is two full work weeks that I'm getting back if you're working a 40 hour work week. I was working way more than that, but <laughs> I was automating two hour or two weeks of work, having a robot do it. And then what did I do after that? I delegated to an assistant coach and he started taking on athletes and then we were able to continue to grow, right? So that's, you know, those are the five steps that you need to take, right? But it happens in stages, okay? And these are the three stages. WTF, what is going on? Oh, I get it. And then number three, why didn't I start sooner, right? And you can see how it's not linear, okay? It is exponential where you see success here up on the top and you see time here down on the bottom. Let me try and show you a visual of what this looks like. Okay. So down here, you'll start right here. This is probably where you're at. If you're watching this video, you're probably right here. What is going on, right? You have no idea what's going on, but then a little bit over time, you start to get better. You start to get better and you're like, Oh, I get it. This is how it's supposed to work. Right. And once you turn that corner, you just skyrocket up. And that's exactly how my journey was, right? When I was doing all this research, when I was doing all this research, I just wasn't sure what I needed to be doing. You know, I, I kind of saw the path, you know, I kind of saw like what I should be doing, but you know, to be quite honest with you, I didn't know where to start, right? And as time went on, I was like, oh, geez, like, I, I think I can do this, right? I wasn't really, really having success yet. Like we, you know, I was just kind of starting, wasn't really having success yet. And then all of a sudden, one day it just clicked, boom. And that's how we went from zero to 32K in one month in just seven months, right? We did over 250K in sales, had over a hundred active members, right? But everyone starts right here. Everyone starts at section one. So if any of this resonated with you and you want my help implementing this, if you are a sports coach who, you know, you have a work ethic, whether you have a follower base already, or you're hungry to grow, you're not afraid to get down and dirty and do the work that's required, then go ahead, click the link down below this video, book in a call with me. 
We can jump on the phone, uh, you know, walk through, see if you're the right fit. And if you are, we can get started right away. Um, if you're not sure yet, you know, if you don't know yet, if you wanna work with me, go ahead, watch all my other content on this YouTube channel. Um, there's plenty of information here that'll show you exactly what I'm capable of. Because at the end of the day right now, like you have two options, right? Option one is I just told you exactly what you need to be doing, right? I told you the five steps, right? You need to have the good mindset. You need to get attention, right? You need to nurture the attention. You need to convert the attention, right? You need to have systems in place, an actual product, something to actually deliver to people, right? You can take all that information and run with it, right? You might have success, you might fail, right? But if you want help actually implementing the information, if you want help actually doing the things where I'll come into your business, sit down with you, walk you through exactly what your offer needs to be, how you need to market, what kind of content you need to make, how to make short form, how to make long form, how to actually get people on the phone, how to run ads if you're not afraid of it, right? If that sounds like you, if that's you, if you want help implementing this stuff, then you can go ahead, book in a call with me. Click, like I said, click the link down below this video. It'll be linked right there. Um, you know, fill out the information. If you're not ready yet, right, you need more information, then go ahead, watch all my other stuff. Shoot me a DM on Instagram, at the real Nick Neville, right? I'll hit you back as soon as possible. You know what I'm saying? Don't book that call if you're not ready. But if you are ready, go ahead and book it. We can walk through if you're the right fit, we'll get started. So maybe you're interested in working with me and getting my help to actually get you to the six figure mark doing remote training. Wanted to show you really quick uh, the community that we got built out right here. Um, in this community, you can see we got some new guys. Oh, there's my guy, Nick Zuris. You know, sale number 21, we got the community kind of bumping, whatever. You saw some of those earlier in the video, right? But here's what I got for y'all walk you through my full program. So once you get on board, this is exactly what it looks like, right? So we'll hop on a call where we'll, you know, you'll go through all these videos really quick. It'll show you exactly what you need to be doing. In the first steps, we'll hop on a call and we'll walk through a worksheet that'll have you go through. Um, and it'll basically show you exactly who you need to be, you know, going after, who you need to be training, what your offer needs to be, how you need to construct your program, and the overall math of how you can get there right a little bit more in depth. Um, and then after that, I have the marketing foundations, you know, how you're gonna, you know, actually, right? I'm saying how you can get attention, how you can, you know, nurture people, how you can convert people, right? I, I show you exactly how to do that in all these videos, right? So the marketing foundations, the marketing strategy, how you need to be making content on Instagram, how you need to be posting stories, what you need to be making long form content about, how to write your captions, speaking to the camera, you know, the conversion process, and then a little bit of mindset training, right? And the reason why I have all the marketing stuff, even though I say the mindset stuff is so important is because if you have the marketing stuff right and you implement it right away, you'll see results very, very quickly and your mind's gonna change like that. So that's just a little bit of a snapshot of my community and actually you know, what I'm offering to the people who are working with me. Uh, not only are you gonna get access to all those training modules and everything, you know, I host group calls with my guys, I get on one-on-one -on -one calls with my guys, support them, you know, text them back and forth, show them that I actually care because at the end of the day, the thing that's most important to me is client results, right? Is you guys actually going out, getting people into your training program, you know, scaling to, you know, five, six, seven, eight, 10K, 20K a month, right? Doing numbers that you never even thought were possible because I never thought that, you know, doing 20, 30K a month was possible, right? And you can make even more than that. So, you know, if this is something that you're interested in, if you're ready to go and, you know, you're a sports coach, you got a work ethic, you want to do the remote game, book in a call with me, we can jump on the phone. I'll make sure you're the right fit, ask you a couple questions. If you are the right fit, we can get started right away and get you signing up new remote guys. And look, I'm not gonna lie to you and sit here and say that making six figures doing remote training is easy because it's not, right? The road to get there is tough, especially if you're gonna try on your own. You'll probably be stuck in phase one for a long time and you may never make it out into phase two because you're just gonna quit and give up and think that it's not possible, right? So, you know, 
If you want to do remote training full time, actually make an impact, love what you do every single day, not have to give a split to the facility, work from anywhere, you know, build a community of athletes who helps each other and actually, you know, impact your sport the way that you want, have a voice, then I absolutely guarantee that I can help you. If that's you, if any of that resonated with you, like I said, go ahead, book in a call with me. We can jump on the phone if you're that guy, right? So, you know, worst case scenario, we get on the phone. It's not the right fit. I'll send you a ton of free resources and information of what you need to be doing to get to that next step. So hopefully I'll catch you on the phone if you're that right guy, if you're ready. If you're not ready, like I said, go ahead, watch all my other content. I post a ton of stuff for free. But if you are that guy, then, you know, book in a call with me. Can't wait to speak with you. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.